Russia wages undeclared hybrid war against NATO's eastern flank. Baltic states are under threat. Russia is waging a hybrid war against NATO countries and has already opened a second front on the alliance's eastern border. Kremlin's hybrid attacks include criminal recruitment and destabilization of the Baltic states and Finland. The Bloomberg notes that on May the 23rd, Russian border guards resorted to provocation at dusk. The Estonian military reacted to this provocation but quickly realized it was a hybrid act of aggression. It is noted that the incident was reported as one of a series of acts aimed at provoking and destabilizing the Baltic states which border Russia and Belarus. It is noted that such incidents do not lead to an act of direct aggression which could cause a direct collective military response by NATO. Still, they have become much more frequent after the start of the criminal war against Ukraine unleashed by the Kremlin. The article's authors note that such incidents are increasingly turning the Baltic region into a second front in the confrontation between Western countries and Russia. Russia is currently fighting two wars. One is a kinetic conventional war in Ukraine. The other is a hybrid war in Europe and the West with the aim of influencing the tone of public discourse or in some way shaking our sense of security, noted the president of Finland, Alexander Stubb. It is emphasized that sending groups of migrants to storm the borders of EU countries, jamming GPS signals and recruiting criminals to commit minor sabotage is part of Russia's hybrid war against the Baltic states, as well as Finland. These countries responded to Russian aggression by strengthening and modernizing the eastern border for $3.5 billion. The Baltic countries and Finland also called for the issue of hybrid attacks to be included in the agenda at the NATO summit in Washington. In just the past few months, Finland and Sweden have experienced airspace violations. Several commercial planes have been unable to land at small airports due to interference with the global positioning system. And Poland has detained Russian agents for alleged sabotage. It is noted that the most hot point of tension remains the Russian border in Narva next to Estonia. Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland share a border with Russia that stretches over 2,300 kilometers. They also share 1,250 kilometers with Belarus. That's longer than the US-Mexico border. A powerful storm hit Russian capital Moscow on Thursday afternoon, killing at least two people and injuring over a dozen others, authorities reported. Russia's emergency services ministry said a man was killed near Park Dubki in northern Moscow when wind gusts of around 18 to 23 meters per second uprooted a tree that then crushed him. As a result of unfavorable weather conditions, 18 people were hospitalized in city hospitals, three of them are in serious condition. Among those hospitalized are four children, their condition is assessed as satisfactory, the press service of Moscow Health Department told local media. The Ministry of Emergency Situations warned of possible tornadoes from 12 to 1700 hours local time on Thursday. It said strong winds and rain was expected to continue until 2200 hours on Thursday. The storm has caused cancellation of around 50 flights across the capital city. The plane flying from Magadan to Moscow failed to land at the capital's Sheremetyevo airport and landed in Nizhny Novgorod. According to meteorologists, the deadly storm was brought in by a strong cold front. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin warned on Wednesday that a powerful storm system was expected to bring heavy rain and high winds, as well as rare tornadoes to Moscow the following day. Oh, 
Сейчас там на кладбище цветы.